Hello, hello. Welcome to Car Talks. And today is Wednesday. So it is Wellness Wednesday. And I am so excited um, about today's topic. And I just wanted to share this with you. Um, I just got done with a 21 day water fast. And not only did there's so many things and so many exciting things that happened during this water fast, but at the same time I was studying about fasting, both biblically about fasting and uh, also just in the health and wellness area. And I just, I am so excited, especially with the things that I've discovered about fasting and things that we maybe we're thinking wrongly about fasting. Some people, you know, I know the one big thing I was asked all the time is, aren't you tired? Um, don't, you know, are you weak? Things like that. And it actually was just the opposite. I never felt better. And giving my gut, giving my digestive system, giving, giving, giving my organs, everything time to rest and to regenerate and to take care of themselves was amazing. And not only that, just the time that I spent just in prayer, prayer, because I went on this for the first, mostly just for the spiritual aspect of it. That's why I did the fasting, but it became more than just spiritual. It was encompassed everything. And all I want to do is I want to go through with you just 12 benefits of fasting and I will go through these today but in the next 12 weeks or so I will break these down and give you more details about each of these benefits. But I just kind of wanted to, to whet your appetite of what are the benefits of fasting and um, maybe get you thinking about the possibility that you might want to fast. Okay so one and these, like I said, I will explain them more um, as the weeks go on. But number one, it stimulates fat burning. Totally stimulates fat burning. I can tell I just fit better in my clothes and just you're using the, your fat up. It improves, number two, your energy level. It did the opposite of what most people think. It, I was, I would exercise, I would go play with my grandson, I do all those things and actually had more energy. Number three, reduces inflammation. And we will really talk about that in a few weeks because inflammation is the key to most chronic diseases out there. Probably 99% of chronic of diseases are caused by inflammation. So we want to really delve into that. It takes stress off your digestive system. I felt so good, like just going, just slept better, felt better, wasn't bloated, you know, all of these things. It was wonderful. It stimulates cell autophagy, and I probably will say that wrong, which we will get into, but basically it kind of gets rid of the dead cells, the decaying cells in your body. It improves the gene re repair mechanism at the cellular level. So you are improving those cells and the mechanism that our bodies, our bodies were beautifully and wonderfully made in so many ways, not just spiritually, but physically. And it can repair itself when we give it time to do so. It stimulates stem cells. We already talk about stem cell therapy and everything with fasting it actually stimulates stem cells itself. Improves insulin sensitivity. You know, everyone thinks, oh, I gotta eat or my blood sugar is gonna drop and I'm gonna pass out or whatever. But this actually improves your insulin sensitivity. Reduces chronic diseases. And there are so many people I know that have some sort of chronic disease and probably are on all kinds of medications for these chronic diseases when really simple changes to your way you eat, when you eat, and 
How you eat and what you eat could change all that. It improves your relationship with food. I seriously know now, without a doubt, that man does not live by bread alone. And you can learn to eat for health reasons, for your body, and not to stuff your feelings, not to stuff emotions, not to just eat nonstop without thinking. It improves your mental state. Actually, you think better, you know? When you're not thinking about food, you can actually think clearer and um, learn more when you're doing it. And then number 12, it improves your spiritual connection. And when you read the Bible, you know, Jesus fasted. And then Jesus assumed that we would all fast because he says, when you fast, and we, so it was the assumption that we would fast. And so I'm going to challenge you as we go through these 12 things and break them down that you might think about fasting. And we'll talk about how long, it doesn't have to be 21 days. We'll talk about the benefits of fasting for a shorter amount of time and just keep coming back on Wednesdays. We're going to really break this down. I'm so excited about the things I've learned and I really want to share them with you because I think if you apply some of these, that list right that there was from Dr. David Jockers. So if you apply some of these things, I think you're going to be, your health will change in 2019. And not only your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, all of those things will change. So Come back on Wednesdays. We'll break it down and let's do some fasting this year. Bye.